Scala. And today we're taking a look at where I park and charge. Now this is what I used to parking. I rented and lived for over a year with this cramped garage. The electrical system was from the 70s, but luckily the outlet was surprisingly fresh. I didn't dare to charge faster than 8 amps while I rented there, fearing I would blow a fuse somewhere. However, most garages in Finland have quite beefy electrical systems, since they are used for engine block heaters during the winter months. A few months back I said goodbye to this place and purchased an apartment that came with a small garage. So now it is time to make this place truly my own. And oh, it's so nice to have automated garage doors. Okay, so here is the garage that we're going to be cleaning up. As you can see, it has some really nice art on the walls, but uh, unfortunately that's not really my style, so it's gonna have to go. But I do particularly like this piece. Nice! There's also some leftover garbage here and stuff like that, so this place definitely needs a clean. There's also some furniture renovation ongoing. But let's focus more on cleaning this place up. So the lighting in the garage consisted of uh, three 60 watt bulbs, which were consuming quite the amount of power. So I am switching all these over to LED instead. And as you can see, I'm also bumping up the brightness a bit. Here's the after, much brighter. So ideally you would replace all these sheets, but uh, since I'm going on a budget now, I'm just going to be removing all extra nails and giving these sheets a fresh paint job. making this place brighter. Okay, this is certainly starting to look a lot more cozier. Just a few more things here to clean up and then I can get to painting the last bits. Okay, so I had some extra paint, so I decided to paint the shelves as well, which really brightens the place up. So now, when it is all nice and tidy, I can start to work on the electrical. So before the electricity reaches this outlet that I intend to charge with, it branches off from this bulb here. So I bought some new connections to replace the splice with, because these older installations usually have a screw cap style splice thing. I'll put one up on screen. Uh, but these ones are prone to like getting uh, untwisted with time, so I bought this high quality Vagos to put in here. But it turned out that someone already put Vagos in here, so... Well, oh well, it's good that it's fixed. To properly mount the charger to the wall, I put some uh, nails here. Uh, it's not good to just have this dangle by the outlet, it puts a huge strain on the cable. And don't worry, this one is definitely getting replaced soon. To store the handle while I'm not charging, I'm using some uh, 3D printed um, inserts that will be screwed onto the wall, which the handle will plug into while I'm not charging. And this is what it looks like mounted on the wall. 
It is printed in ABS and uh, should hopefully last for quite some time. Okay, I think that wraps up the video. I had a lot of fun making this. The garage also came with a workspace area. I'll put that up on screen now. It's a mess since we just moved here, but I intend to clean it up as well and insulate the walls and make it a nicer workshop. Um, so, yeah, uh, the outlet is still going to be replaced by an IP55 one. Uh, I'll put one up on screen also. But uh, this, ha I haven't had time to have the electrician come in and replace this. But you will just have to believe me that I replaced it. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks! Huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to support this channel and get early access to all my content, there's a link down in the description. Bye!